Welcome to this short tutorial on how to use my 20 tile scale alpha pack inside of ZBrush. I'm going to quickly run through how to use the alphas to create repeated detail across your entire 3D model. So grab a coffee and let's get started. So inside of ZBrush, we're going to start off by looking at our model and for this example on how to use my scale brushes I'm going to use the goldfish and this model has already been subdivided up for, uh, to level 7 which will give me roughly 35 million polygons which is a good uh, point to, to put across if you're going to use these scales brushes your model has to have a nice topology nice clean topology as well as have enough density in the polygons so that it comes out nice when you uh, use the surface noise maker, which we'll get into uh, just a little later. So first things first, I'm just going to show you how the UVs look on this model, and it's good. To, it's it's important to have good UVs, uh, e even if the model has been Z remeshed and not a proper uh, topology. That doesn't matter because all you, you all you need to do is uh, unwrap the model inside a UV master in the Z plug Z plugin, which is here. And I've already done that. So I'm just going to show you uh, how the UVs look. So if I come in here to UV map, I can morph it and this will just morph the body. Uh, don't pay attention to any of the other items. This is predominantly for the body of the fish. So as you can see, I've got two halves of the body and the head on its own little UV section there. Uh, the body is pointing in the Y up direction, which is important to note that the direction of the alpha uh, will have, or the direction of your model, sorry, will have effects with the alpha. So if your model is set to a sort of 45 degrees, it's not going to work as well as if, as well as if it was uh, straight up or straight to the side or straight down. So just bear that in mind. It has to be um, in the right direction, uh, your UVs. If you wanted to change the direction of your UVs, I'll just quickly show you how to do that as well. So in here, you can come to Z plugin, go down to UV master. And if you try to flatten the UVs after creating the UVs, it's going to ask you to work on a copy because you have subdivision levels. So the first thing you want to do is come in here, come down to work on clone, and this will just make a clone of your, your fish or your model with UVs. And from here, you can then come in and flatten the UVs. And that's going to show you a U UDEM or a UV island where your UVs are sitting. So if you wanted to move your UVs or rotate your UVs, all you have to do is uh, click on the control button or go to your gizmo first, which is W. Hit the control button and then mask out this the, the, the island that you want. Now, normally it would work fine if you had each one of these pieces in a different polygon color. But because these two are the same, it's picking up both of these. And if you try rotating, it's going to rotate both at the same time. So you'll have to make, come in manually with the mask tool and go over to the mask settings and use lasso. And just lasso a mask around that one using the control button. And now you can rotate your island free of the other two. And this way you can position the, the body so that it fits better with the direction of the alpha scale of the scales um, so that's just a quick show once you've uh, got the island the way you like it you can return to your sub sub tool because uh, it gives it, it makes a duplicate of it so you'll have to go back to the sub tool that you had here and or before we do that using in here sorry you have to come in here and in the Z plugin, come down to copy UVs. This will make a copy of that UV and then come into this one, the original model, come down to Z plugin and tap paste UVs. But 
I'm not going to do that for this one. I'm just showing you how you would do that. So uh, I, I will make probably another tutorial later on going in more depth into UV creation. But for now, uh, just bear in mind that you will need UVs for these brushes or these alphas. And you, that's how you can create them. You can take them into an external um, program like Maya or Blender or 3ds Max and make your UVs and then import it back in. But uh, if you were really just wanted to make a good like conceptual sculpt, but you wanted to have nice uh, scales like a snake or a dragon, but you don't want to have to spend too much time, then using the Z plugin, UV Master is your best bet. Right. So once you have your UVs, you can then subdivide the model and I subdivided it to 35 million. I'm just waiting for that to get to the top. And you can turn off the poly, polygon faces. And what you want to do is scroll down to surface and just open up the surface tab in here. Click on the noise button and this will bring up a new menu called the noise maker. And in here you can see that we have a little preview of our model and you can move, zoom, frame it or recenter it to inside of here. So I'm just going to frame it for now. But when you open it, it's going to have a couple of these settings. I'm not going to go into too much detail about these because this is just showing you how to plug in the scales alphas that I've created. But um, essentially what you have is a 3D UV and noise plugin. Now 3D is if you don't have UV maps, you can use a 3D and it will project the texture as best it can onto your model um, using 3D planners. Uh, but if you have UVs, I, you would have to click on the UV button and this will change it to the UV layout. Uh, for the noise scale, you can turn that all the way down because you don't need noise in it. And it just gives us a little bit of a grainy, graininess to the, your character or creature. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're just going to import one of the scales and I'll show you how it looks uh, inside. So in here, just open it up. And what you want to do is you want to go and select one of these ones at the bottom. I'm going to choose the basic fish scale. Now you're not going to see much when you first do this, but what you can do is, what you have to do is turn off the noise and then turn up the scale. And the strength is a really low strength at the moment. So what you want to do is bump that strength up, turn the mix basic noise down, and scale it up. Scale up the alpha. Right, so uh, you can see the scales are in the wrong direction, but that's not a problem. But because we made it so that the UVs are pointing upwards or downwards, we can actually change the rotation of the scales later on i'll show you how to do that so this is essentially the type of um layout that i would use for the scale so that's that's the fish scale so if we come back in here and we use this one you can see it does the same thing it plasters it all over the place and it's all uv it's all seamless so you won't get any harsh seams there are a couple of harsh seams that you will have to work out um, later on but I'll show you what we can do to, to fix that later but for now this is essentially how your scales will look on your model so let's say we go for the original fish scale uh, so at the moment we've got the strength at 0 0.0248458 which is it looks like a lot in the preview but the preview is very uh, as a basic lookout uh, of what your model or your, your alpha alphas would look like. It's not showing you the true representation of the alpha on your model. So just bear that in mind. If you put it at 0 0.024 and you click OK, it's still previewing that scales on your model. It's not yet set. What you have to do is come over to Apply to Mesh in the Surface tag 
and it's best to have this one uh, smooth normals all the way to the top so that once it projects it on it'll also smooth those scales so that's not so bumpy um, so if once you hit apply then it'll run through along the top and it'll apply the map the alphas onto your mesh so we just give that a minute to, to calculate And once it's done, you can see it's slightly less exaggerated than the preview showed us. So just bear that in mind. Uh, if you put it on as a low tech, like you can see there, when I hit undo and I go back again to projection, it's fairly faded. So what we're going to do is come in here to the noise maker, go into edit, and just bump up that strength a bit more. Now it's going to look exaggerated on the preview, but don't worry. Remember, it will be less once we hit the apply to mesh. Now you can see that it's got a bit more depth in the scales <clears throat> than the previous one. So that's essentially how you would add the tileable scales onto your model. Now, remember the scales at the moment are facing the wrong way. And on the head here, you can see there is a bit of a seam that's because the, uh, the the head is a separate uv <clears throat> to the body and is facing in a different position so what we want to do first thing we want to do is change the direction of the scales so we come back and we hit Control z to go back come back into and in the uv maps we can see here we have a map uh, if you come to adjust you can then adjust the direction of your uvs so if we hit flip u or flip v sorry uh, it will flip the uv so that it's pointing in the right direction so now the the scales look like they're going in the right direction on the body and on the head relatively the same um, again you'll have to change them anyway and on the this fish model it, it won't have that um, scales on the fish's face so we have to adjust that so what we can do is come back up to sub into the surface tab <clears throat> and using the mask tool or mask brush we can actually mask out the entire head and what this does is it tells the surface Ta uh, noise maker to not put anything on the face and only the body so we can get really close in here and take away and then what you can also do to make less of a harsh uh, mask you can drop the subdivision level and using the control and clicking on the model you can drop that harsh sharpness of the mask uh, a bit more so that it's got more of a transition and then going back up to subdivision level 7 you can continue on now it's important to re remember to have a quite a dense model because if you had the subdivision levels low and you try to use the surface maker although it shows the preview as it is once you hit apply to mesh, I'll just do that now. You're going to see there's no detail because there's not enough de there's not enough topology to make that alpha detail. So just bear that in mind. Just hit Control Z. So we have the head now. Uh, we have it masked off, and I think the scales are a little bit too small for this fish. So what you can do is come into the noise maker by hitting the edit button and I'm going to make the scales slightly bigger and there's another interesting little tool inside of here where you can change the curve so you can change the direction or the, the strength of your alpha so you can have them overlapping a bit more or slightly flattened and this just 
plays with the height of the map that you have, which is quite quite a cool thing to do. You can try that out with all the other ones as well. Same same thing. Um, so I'm going to just push it a little bit high, and I'm going to say OK, and that just updates the preview on my model. And now I'm going to hit Apply to Mesh, like so. Oh, now we've gone back to the subdivision level seven. So we just go all the way back up to the highest one. And then in here, uh, hit Apply to Mesh, and we just wait for it to do its job. OK, so now it has gone through and projected those scales on. And if we hit Control and click, to exit the mask, you can see the whole head has no scales on it, which is what we wanted. Now you might have to come back in here using the smooth brush just to smooth out those areas a bit more so that they're a bit cleaner. But then then again, you would have to do this if you were making your model. Uh, this is basically a, a quick way of creating scales on your model and then you'd have to go in by hand as with everything and uh, finish off detailing the model so just bear that in mind it's not going to be a quick fix for everything it's going to be something that gets you 90 percent there and then you can go in and play around with, the, with another brush and uh, detail it further so that's how to use the the scale tiles uh, as you can see when it comes to the bottom here, where there's a line, uh, where the seams are, what we can do is we can fix that pretty easy. It'll be the same method as in using the head, uh, as we used in with the head, where we just go in and we mask out those areas. So we go back all the way to, so I'm just undoing until I get to the uh, noise maker is on and the projection is not on. And I'm just going to use the mask brush. I'm just going to mask out some of those difficult areas. So just along the bottom, I'm just going to mask this out. And along the side here, mask that out as well. Like that. There we are. So now we've masked out those difficult areas and those seamed areas. We can now project back on. And then we just wait for it to project the scales back on. Yeah, once that's done we can now see that those seamed areas are no longer going to be an issue. So uh, what can we do to fix those general areas? Well, I have actual, actually created from these tiled maps, I have created brushes as well. So inside of here, we'll just go to the standard brush, click on the drag rectangle. And in here, I've already loaded up all the brushes I have created. And this is going to be scale alpha number two. And what I can do is come in here, click, turn off symmetry. Because I've got materials turned on. So I can come in here, turn off symmetry, and place scales individually as best I can and then come in with a detail brush later and just detail those scales so that they fit better. But this is just a, a quick overview of these scales, Alpha's brushes that I'm using. You can even go in there and um, to make it better fitting, you can mask out these areas where there is scales and then use the brush off symmetry, undo, and then use the brush to add those extra scales in, like so, and then go back over the over them with a cleanup bit of cleanup, 
and then you should should be should be done. So this has just a, been a quick tutorial on how to use these brushes, and they don't only work with a goldfish. Uh, I also have a foot here, the dinosaur foot I created. Now in here, I think I have gone in and changed the UVs so that they fit better. So now if I morph it back, I can come in here with this and turn on the turn up the geometry so subdivide it a couple of times like so. And then come into the surface tab again and go into noise and then frame the foot. Turn on the alpha and I'm going to now use a different one. A uh, different skin texture instead, a reptile skin texture. Turn it onto UVs, turn down the noise, bring up the strength. Oh, that's because I've got, I haven't selected the tile version. The tile version is down here. Bring down the mixed basic noise, bring up the strength, maybe drop the intensity a bit. And then play around until I get a nice feel. Hit OK. Have a look around. Some seam issues going on here, but that's because of the UV islands again. And I'll just turn the sub smooth normals up. Apply to mesh. And just give it a second. And voila, you have a skin detail all around your model. Now this is going to work better once you have, say, the scales going down the foot, the bigger scales going down the foot here. Uh, in fact, what we can do is try this out using this masking brush. I'm just going to mask out this area on the toe and this area on this toe. And this one. I'm going to apply that scale to it. Like so. And then I'm going to invert the mask. So hit the control button and tap on the outside of the model to invert the mask. And come back into the noise maker. Edit it. Turn on a new this one, the scale, and then I want to just try something here. Like that, UV Island. Uh, it's not going to work too well, but you can see what I mean. You can m m mix and match the um, UV scales, uh, or the scales, sorry, from the noise maker, and you can apply that. Let's say we'll just apply that now. And there you go. You can have different scales on the foot. This would be a lot better if it was if the foot was up and down and the uh, on the UVs was a bit, a bit cleaner but uh, the, that, that's just how it is. Um, what I'll do is I will fix these fix these UVs later on but uh, essentially that's how you would do it or you would just mask out these areas again uh, turn this off delete that and then just place by hand those extra scales so you could even mask off one toe at a time like so 
and then just add the last one here. Like so. And there's a very quick and easy way to add detail to your model. This has been a very quick tutorial on using the 20 alpha scale brushes. I don't think there's much else I can say. I will make a longer tutorial on how to use the UV maps and surface details and all those other like, other things. Uh, it's in the works. Uh, I hope this has been helpful on letting you know how to use my how to use these brushes. And yeah, I hope you en enjoyed it. So thank you very much.